Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. What's up, everybody? Good morning. (laughs) I woke up to my car being completely covered in snow. Like if today was election day, I might not leave the house to go vote. (laughs) We'll see if it melts by tomorrow. If not, who cares? (laughs) Um, so anyways, uh, what's up? You ready for a new herb of the week? I don't even know if I told you what it was last week, because I feel like at, by the end of last week, that full moon energy, I was ready to quit again. But this week, I'm back, because, you know, oh, never mind. <laughs> um, it's red raspberry. Although we do have a black raspberry, we're going to hang out with a black raspberry, too. But um, yeah, it's raspberry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, raspberry is our herb of the week. And you're like, what? Like the actual berries? Well, we're yeah, we can talk about the berries, uh, of course. But um, as an herbalist, you have to, you got to put red raspberry leaf on your repertoire. That's such a big word for me. Every time I use it, I'm not sure if I'm using it correctly. <laughs> um, yeah, you got to know about red raspberry. It's good for many things. You'll find it in... You'll find it in pregnancy teas, and you'll find it in um, some homemade, like, vitamin recipes or vitamin teas, and I often think of red raspberry vinegar if you have diarrhea. So, it should be pretty exciting. Thanks for being here. Um, We're going to hang out with red... I should stop saying red because I definitely have a black raspberry card. And I was like, I don't know if I should bring you in. (laughs) Hey, Sadie. Yes, we have the black raspberry with indifference, apathy, and untouchability. Um, We have the raspberry tarot card from the Herb Crafters Tarot, the Three of Earth. We have a Create Space raspberry card from the illustrated herbiary with two robins I think those are robins maybe two robin birds and two robin eggs and a in a nest made from raspberry leaves that actually have raspberries growing off of the nest (laughs) it's fan ridiculously fantastic and then we have the priestess of fertility and she has um she has an herb wheel behind her with lots of different herbs um but raspberry is the one that the guidebook spots light spotlights but it also has some other herbal friends like geranium primrose jasmine uh, maybe some kind of a mushroom and hawthorn anyways she is a pretty fantastic priestess and we'll talk about fertility too so it's kind of just a weird bunch I mean I'm not being judging I'm just saying like these cards don't really feel connected at all with each other except for the fact that like there's red raspberries on two of the cards and some reddish black raspberries on another one oh and that one has a big mama bear in the middle of this raspberry like wreath or in I don't know it's kind of like a circular thing and the three of earth has three ginormous basket full of raspberries. I'm like, dang, what are you going to do with all those? Because they don't last long. <laughs> and it's got this big path. So it's almost like an industrious raspberry farm. Like raspberry large scale. And yeah, so there's a lot of abundance, I would say, in these cards. The fertility goddess, she's topless. has got like grapefruits for boobs like in her dress is brick laid so she's got this huge feeling of foundation as well as abundance like she's got more than enough 
Ooh, she's holding two snakes. Is that snakes in either hand? That's interesting. Um, she's got a goddess symbol above her, like a goddess um, rune or token above her head and two flowers on either side. Yes, yeah, so they're really cool cards. I'm just saying like the lot of them as a group, I'm like, how did you guys all get together? And I think this is all the raspberry cards I could find anyways. So raspberry, do you like them or do they get stuck in your teeth? <laughs> that's more that's more like black blackberries. I've got those big seeds. You're like, oh, well, I know where all my cavities are because now I have seeds in them. Um, raspberries are pretty squishy usually by the time they find their way to the supermarket. But if you get them, you'd like have to eat them that night. Like that's just how it is. I have some raspberry, um, I want to say bushes, but they're more just like random canes. And I don't know if they'll even come back next year because uh, the Jerusalem artichokes and, and Egyptian mint and lamb's quarter are just freaking being bullies, you know. Um, but anyways, there's nothing better than standing in the grass barefoot and eating a perfectly ripe red raspberry man it is delicious even my dogs love them so anyways raspberry is our herb of the week we'll get some affirmations we'll hang out tomorrow we'll come back we'll figure out you know tomorrow i was gonna say we'll figure out what layout for tarot but we'll just maybe do a new month spread unless something else comes up i've got some great ones over at tarot spread layout um i'm not just saying that like to you know because i pick them they actually are great they're fantastic tarot spreads that you can use oracle cards as well for. And I think I have a new month one that actually does use two oracle cards. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. And then Wednesday, we're coming back, I guess, to manifest more spirituality, which will be interesting to see, like, if I actually have any cards that say the word spirituality. Like, obviously, every single deck has that intention, right? That's why we come together because we want to be spiritual-ish, <laughs> like just a little bit with each other. Um, and, uh, you know, but anyway, that's what we'll see. So it's like the same week that we're going to do. We're going to do the same week that we did for the last 300 weeks. And that's not true. I think we're on, um, I'm not sure how many weeks we've ever hung out. This is, I'll tell you what though, red raspberry is our 39th herb of the week. So if you if you'd like to put into context how long we've been, We've been chilling. Uh, if you've done all the herb of the weeks, like officially, this is number 39. So we've actually been hanging out for like ever. Yeah. All right. And I appreciate you. Okay. So red raspberry, raspberry leaf. The, the herb that I wrote down on, the, on my little notepad is raspberry leaf. Maybe I should just take off the leaf. I feel like I'm gonna have to scratch off the leaf now. But that's how I like, I usually see it as an herb. I don't really, sorry, I just hardly don't recognize the fruit <laughs> as more, anything more than a food. But actually, like all fruits, it's probably got a kicking amount of vitamin C in it and, um, you know, eat it. So anyways, herb, raspberry. And you know when I say that, I'm gonna be thinking of the leaf all right, so I just uploaded the Daniel Scranton. Today, the Arcturians wanted to talk about big changes, old beliefs, and root chakra purging. And I was like, ooh, because I was like, yeah, have we been purging our root chakras? Um, what, what did the full moon bring up for you? Um, anything? Nothing? Um, I feel pretty deflated and exhausted, and, but okay, but good. I was excited yesterday to turn the calendar page to November. Oh, we did a, our angelic herb. We hung, I hung out with Archangel Haniel yesterday. If you didn't see that somehow, <laughs> you can listen to that. I wore a moonstone yesterday. I tried to tap into that energy a little bit and the intuition. I did pay attention to my dreams. Um, they are weird but I'm noticing them, so that is progress. And today I'm just drinking lots of tea because the air feels dry. 
you know, like in the back of your throat dry. So drink lots of warm liquids. Absolutely. I feel like I want to start with the three of earth, the herb crafters tarot. So let's begin there. Let's learn a little bit about raspberry. Let's see what spin black raspberry might put on it. Now, the black raspberry card is from the Plant Spirit Oracle by Dana O'Driscoll. And she is, like, I don't know her personally, but she's basically my neighbor. <laughs> like, because we're both Western Pennsylvania girls and at heart. And I think we, she still lives here. And I, I'm pretty sure that most days I still live here too. <laughs> Some days I'm not so sure. Okay, so anyways, three of earth. Where else would I go? See, that's the thing about uh, people from Pennsylvania. I feel like a lot of us are just like, where else would we even want to go? Like, even though winter is so long, there is something about Pennsylvania that's lovable and fabulous. And like you think like, oh, maybe I want to go somewhere warmer. But Pennsylvania just is like cozy and safe. And, you know, like sometimes I think about entertain the idea of like Hawaii or Arizona. And then that's that's of all the further it gets. It just it, I just entertain the idea. And it's like, where else would I want to be? And so that tells me personally. And, and it also tells me a little insight about Dana, too, who made the Plant Spirit Oracle, that we're here because we're connected to the land. And we're here because we have work to do. And this is home. This is home. And a lot of creatures call it home. And a lot of plants call it home. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I like the idea of being warm <laughs> and not having, like, wintry roads to deal with and things like that but like when I think about Arizona it makes me sad because there's no foliage it makes me sad because there's no grass and plants that grow lush and like I don't know man like I'm really hooked on the foliage here in Pennsylvania and the plants and the hills and the trees and like I, I do love it I do love it here. And Hawaii would be like a completely, like wouldn't even feel real to me. And I wouldn't know what any of the plants were. And I don't actually, of course it, it'd be like, oh, you would learn how, you would learn them, honey. Yeah, but like it wouldn't feel like home. It wouldn't feel like home if, I, if there weren't like plantain growing everywhere. Um, if like you didn't stumble upon some old familiars like mullen, St. John's wort, yarrow. Like, I love finding these everywhere I go. I'm just saying, I guess I'll stay. <laughs> well, then quit your bitching about winter, right? Um, so, yeah, there's snow on the ground today. It'll probably be gone by the end of the week. If the sun could peek through that thick blanket in the sky, you know, it could melt it. The roads are actually clear, but, yeah, the snow is laying. Okie doke. So, there's no snow in any of these pictures. Um, and the three of earth, the raspberry, this is like ugh, summer, man. This is a bright summer day. And there's baskets of juicy red berries that sit on the grass. There's two rows of raspberries that extend down a clover-filled path toward the foothills of a verdant mountain. Yeah, red clover, white clover. I would miss you guys. I'm not saying there isn't clover in Hawaii, but it just, I, I don't know. I guess I need to go there and find, I should just go there and find out. <laughs> the bushes overflow with flowers and fruit. The ripe ones come easily. Cedar trees line the boundary of the land. The sky shines blue with small puffy white clouds. So yeah, this is a, this is a great card because like the picture is taken. Well, it's a drawn picture, but it's like if you took this picture, it's like you are behind the baskets and you crouch down on the ground with them. And so the baskets are the first thing that you see, but then you just see like forever down this path, these two long rows of raspberry. And you can just walk in between and pick all these berries. What a great idea. 
Like really, what a great idea. And so Raspberry, this three of earth tarot card, teaches us to fill our baskets with companionship and collaboration. Fill your basket with companionship and collaboration. Raspberry comes through with a solid message of nourish your body. So yes, it is something that you can eat that is good for you. Nourish your body and savor simple pleasures. <laughs> I'm laughing because of like what you probably pay for raspberries at the grocery store. Like, yeah, you're going to savor that because you paid for it. <laughs> but it's like, actually, even if you get a raspberry for free in your backyard, man, don't you savor it. And raspberry is saying, yeah, let's do more of that. Let's do more of that with everything. Let's do more savoring. Let's do more nourishing. Let's do more collaboration and companioning. <laughs> so company brings joy to hard work. You have a responsibility to tend the abundance you have been given. There is much to do with fruitful raspberry, jellies, pies, syrups, vinegars, baskets, and medicine. Teamwork multiplies productivity. Invite others to join you. Trust your leadership and organizing skills. Approach people with clear expectations and agreements. As first year raspberry canes create the foundation for second year canes to fruit, create value for generations to come. Together with your community, you can build a strong legacy. Raspberry tea, rich with minerals, tones weakened tissues and energizes the body. You are competent and up to the task, but keep yourself strong. Also, raspberries are just plain delicious. <laughs> Remember to enjoy the sweetness of life. So I like this because, you know, I was just really loving, and I mentioned this yesterday, if you listen to the angelic herb, how much I love the Halloween community thing that my little town put together. And really, you know, that was just the one church stepping up um, to just say, hey, let's ever, everybody meet here for trick-or-treating. And, and then really, like, it was like when we all got there, it was kind of like, who was, who was even in charge here? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody's in charge. But then one of the mom was like, okay, we're going to go down this way and then back up that way. And, and then that was it. Like, it just was this completely cohesive, collaborative um, community thing, lots of companionship, everyone was happy, um, everyone had fun, um, <clears throat> all the kids were excited to be getting sugar that, that, of course, me as like the nerd mom, I'm like, great, we're lowering our immune systems, <laughs> but yet, actually, the companionship and fun outweighed all of that, and now this week, we just need to feed our kids some raspberries to, to you know, strengthen up. And us too, you know, like I can feel my body, like I, I'm fully capable of, of keeping up with my goals and my projects and, and whatever, all these other things that I'm doing, but I need to stay strong. And so do you. So let's make it a point, you know, to drink some tea. If you make up a brew in your pot, throw some raspberry leaves in it. Mine are still hanging on on the plant uh, or even some fresh raspberries at the market. Make a fruit tea, eat them, put them in some smoothies. Like let's boost up this week. Keep yourself strong. So the raspberry tea, which I'm assuming they make with the leaves is rich in minerals and is very toning to tissues and energizing to the body. So that's why you see raspberry leaves um, in 
pregnancy tea because you want to keep that uterus toned and strong and yeah keep yourself strong and energized and so those minerals are really welcomed and then the fruit itself is just delicious <laughs> and so every time you eat a raspberry let it be a reminder to enjoy the sweetness of life now apparently and i've never done this um, you can learn how to weave a basket with raspberry canes but i feel like the raspberries that i have have thorns so i don't know if you have to take those off first you can grow raspberries that do not have thorns i think like hybrids or you know they bred them to not have thorns but the ones i have i'm pretty sure would be interesting to weave a basket with um make raspberry leaf tea to nourish and delight your body and harvest ruby red raspberries at the peak of summer make jam with friends and enjoy it all year. Now my raspberries do have thorns, but I'm pretty sure they fruit twice. They're the kind that get fruit on them like twice. Um, like once in, in summer and then again right before fall, they have fruit come on them again. And I have absolutely no idea how I'm supposed to be taking care of them. Like, do I prune these things? I have no idea, I just let them go. But next year I might um, try to keep them safe from all the intruders or maybe even it, uh, give them another location to grow. Like if you see new things sprouting up, maybe dedicate a new space for it. If I had land, I would do what's on this card. Holy man, those are awesome. Cause they're delicious you guys. All right, so anyways, that's, a, that's raspberry a little bit, um, and we can get a little more nerdy as we go into the plant spirit oracle with the black raspberry. So whatever grows around you, I mean, honor whatever type you've got. My friend up on the hill, um, she's growing white raspberries. They look like yellowish white, and they're good too, man. They are good too. So like I mentioned yesterday as well, this daylight savings time is making me look like a fucking champion. It's 9 a.m. I'm here with you already. Um, I've been up for a while. I've made tea. I read two chapters um, in The Course in Miracles. I'm on chapter 16 and just going to wake up and read a couple chapters every day. And that's how I'm going to get those that audio book completed um and i uploaded the daniel scranton and yeah it's 901 it's 901 now correction it's 901 <laughs> it the yesterday was friggin long like the, it was like the longest shortest darkest day but also so, you can get so much done you can so i really hope that you've got some good projects going on I've ordered more more of the Lynn V. Andrews books as insurance. Like I don't I don't want to not be entertained at night. I don't, I don't want to give myself any like time to I don't know slide back into my sad past. Do you know what I mean? Like I really want to stay productive, even if that means dusting off the sewing machine. Like, there's really nothing that I need to sew or want to sew, but I might just have to sew to have something to do. <laughs> I'm catching up my YouTube channel with Herbal Marie videos now, as well as old podcasts here from Ho. So I just have like tons of projects to keep me going. Um, and then, yeah, just doing it. What am, what am I talking about? Oh, so anyways, I feel like a champion getting up a little bit earlier so anyways well not really but it seems like it because the clocks got turned back yeah <laughs> so don't anybody say well it's actually like 10 o'clock right now. shut up <laughs> be quiet you um let me feel good about this black raspberry now she just kind of wants to talk about the raspberry species the rubus species 
here, and she calls raspberry, this is Dana O'Driscoll, the plant spirit oracle. She calls raspberries the planet warriors. And the key words for this card is indifference, untouchability, and complacency. That's what she has in the book, but on the card it says apathy. So, I don't know why, maybe, does she, Dana, what's up with this? You have apathy on the card, but complacency um, here in the book. It don't matter to me. I'm indifferent. I'm so black raspberry about it. It's fine. I just wondered. Untouchability. Interesting. So anyways, just for my na 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 nas, my nerdies, raspberry leaf is a long-standing herbal remedy for mothers and healthy pregnancies. It's particularly useful in the last few months of pregnancy when it helps strengthen the uterus, prevents miscarriage, and reduces morning sickness. It also supports healthy milk production. So yeah, I, that's really what you think of when you think of red raspberry leaf or black raspberry leaf. Um, but anybody can drink it because it's toning and strengthening and nourishing for everyone and she has a recipe in her book here for a raspberry fruit leather which be would be yummy to make with your dehydrator um but let's talk about let's talk about western pennsylvania yeah what's up uh that's why there's a black bear on this card because you can find them eating berries I don't I personally do not want to find a black bear eating berries anywhere, but they're here. They live here absolutely because you'll every once in a while I'll see one run across the road when I'm driving somewhere and they're so freaking cute. Um that but I don't want to actually see one <laughs> like eating berries in front of me. I don't know what am I supposed to do? Pet it or snuggle with it? Oh, get away from it? Okay. <laughs> so raspberry is a delicious fruiting cane in the Rubus genus. While this card depicts black raspberry, which is native to the eastern part of the United States, there's many cultivated species of raspberries. And all are represented by this card. So it grows in canes. It's covered in thorns and leaves. White petaled flowers of early summer give way to hard green berries, which slowly expand and ripen to pink, deeper red, and finally to a dark purple, almost black. So it is really cool to like watch, you know, it's like it starts out, it's like, how is that going to be a berry? But like plants are just so smart and creative and genius. It's really fun to watch it all happen. Um, so yeah, you can often find black bears eating berries, especially in Western PA. Everyone gives black bears distance and respect and stays clear of them. Black bears can get into anything, trash buckets, dumpsters, the freezer in your garage, your garden, your beehives, your bird feeders, yeah. And where the bear goes, the bear goes <laughs> like poop all right what does that mean and where the bear goes the bear goes or it just goes wherever it wants but it's probably actually like a spreader of raspberry bushes like squirrels too like it just swallows all these berries whole and so when it poops like a raspberry cane could grow there anyways in July, it is not uncommon um, to see a black bear fully immersed in a patch of wild berries gorging herself, her thick fur and hide protecting her against the thorns. Even if you wanted those berries, you are out of luck. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. So indifference is part of the divination with this card. Indifference, untouchability, and complacency or apathy. Um, so let's talk about these three things that are pretty different to have on an oracle card. 
like if I didn't have this book and I only had the deck because I think I had to order them separately I don't know if they actually came together like this is an actual book book it's huge um, if I just had the deck and I got this I would see indifference as being a good thing like I'm the bear I'm sitting in these raspberry thickets and I don't give a fuck right like I'm eating these berries oh they're yours I didn't know keep eating you know <laughs> like you can't touch me I'm a freaking bear like so it's kind of a, a very very strong and powerful card and when I think of one of the affirmations that we'll have for raspberry I am strong I am building a beautiful legacy with my community at some point and you may, may be experiencing that now in your community um, you you gonna do what you're gonna do you don't need to ask permission to do everything we didn't ask permission to go trick-or-treating in the middle of a pandemic mind you we just fucking did it because we wanted to do to do it and so one time it reminds me of um, a video a movement over in the UK or somewhere where these old gardener ladies wanted to start growing more food in the city and in the towns and 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 I remember the lady saying and we didn't ask anybody for permission we just did it and it's like yeah bitch like we just need to start doing what we want to do if you want to grow food in your yard do it do not ask permission from anyone or you're like just do it just start doing it now you do hear like people like in cities and stuff yeah then sometimes that comes back on them and they're like I've like in Florida I think they're bastards about it so anyways but here's the thing don't give your quote authorities any chance to tell you not to do something good if it's good and you want to do it do it any anyways live as though you are an untouchable sovereign being if you want to do something do it start being the black bear start having a little bit of indifference um, to what you're allowed to do oh I think we have to, I think we have to do this no bitch you don't have to do anything I don't think we're allowed really watch me watch me do it <laughs> anyways do what you want to do and say what you want to say yeah <laughs> come on and be my light come on and lead the way yeah then the next part's not so happy the people speak I hear them say you won't last another day <laughs> watch me <laughs> all right so anyways let's just see what she says here in the book indifference just as the bear eating her berries cares little about what is happening around her this card represents being indifferent or apathetic to one's surroundings you need to look at the situation carefully to see if this indifference places you in a position of power where you can do what you need to do and not mind what others think about it or if it puts you in a position of powerlessness where you are disconnected and therefore shouldn't care about what is happening so it's like you get your own message depending often we care too much about what others think of us and thus indifference can help us tremendously in letting go of the expectations of others yeah like please let go of wondering or worrying or having concern of what your neighbors will think oh I don't know what the neighbors will think if we plant all these ugly raspberry canes <laughs> you know um do you want the raspberries or not so yeah indifference can be empowering when it's used appropriately um, of course and of course there's always a flip side to everything so you know live from your heart and use your best judgment and yeah of course being indifferent and doing something that is 
destructive for your, to your community. Now, that's not what I'm advocating. I'm advocating free food. I'm advocating self-sufficiency. I'm advocating fertility. Fertility in your yard. Make your yard something that could serve you in a time of need or just something that you delight in and you enjoy, you know? It's very, it's very fun and enjoyable to have food growing in your yard and you can just have a little snack while you're out there. Or take it beyond that and be self-sufficient and sustainable, um, you know? And, and if that, if you can be the, <laughs> the seed spreader of that in your community, then you've done your community a service and you've done well by getting everyone to think and act and be more positively oriented and beneficial um, to your growing spaces. Yeah, having communities that actually have their own food. Do you really want to put all your eggs in the Walmart basket? They're doing a good job feeding us, but what if sometime they can't? Wouldn't you like to know that your community could hold its own? Just some ideas from Raspberry. Now, untouchability. The black raspberry card suggests that you are protected in some way, that you have been made untouchable in a current situation. While this is certainly a position of strength, it may not be long-lived. Make the most of it while it is present. So I say you're untouchable as long as you believe it to be and you maintain your strength and you maintain your sovereignty. And if it's just a short blessing, so be it. But guess what? Short blessings can be back to back. <laughs> do what you want to do and say what you want to say. Yeah. Complacency. Complacency is also indifference and I guess apathy. Indifference in the long term can give way to complacency. It may be that this card finds you in this state. Ooh, don't be complacent. Complacency can lead us to being so self-absorbed that we do not recognize what is happening around us and or thinking we are untouchable when we are really not. The other cards in the reading will likely help you understand which part of the energy of black raspberry you are drawing upon. So this is a pretty well-rounded deck, the Plant Spirit Oracle. Like, it's not just like positive, blinding pats on the back, you know. It does, it will probably try to clue you in if there's something that you need to be aware of or if you've become too complacent or too apathetic or too indifferent, you know. There is a balance within all things. All right, time to make more tea. <laughs> And you know what else I did this morning? Um, because I like to use what grows around me. I took some of the frozen marshmallow roots that I dug up last week or a week or whatever ago. And I put them in the freezer. I cleaned them off and put them in the freezer. I took a few of those and put them in the Vitamix and shredded them up with some water. Instant slime. So I just feel like if we plant raspberry canes we should also be planting marshmallow too because like I get that people enjoy it in teas dried but man it is so luxurious to have fresh roots and I don't know how people are like getting through the dry season the cold the cold heater running all the time makes you so dry like I just it feels so good in my body so anyway, shout out to all our herbal allies. Shout out to knowing what you can and cannot eat around you. That's why I think wild edibles are so important to know and I'm trying to learn more of them myself. Not that I take advantage of them all the time, but it's such good insurance to know what you can eat in the wild and what you can eat in your backyard and, and just, yeah always be aware of what you can eat because we're human and we're hungry <laughs> all right so fertility 
let's cruise on to our third of three of four cards and then we'll end with create space so we'll go to the enchanted spell oracle next the medieval head medieval hedge witch magic by priestess moon and yeah this is the fertility the priestess of fertility and she's fantastic looking her arms wide wide open and up she's all about new beginnings fruitful and growth and raspberry is the featured herb with this card even though like i mentioned before there's other there's other friends on the wheel so raspberry sweet ruby scent is red redolent of summer parties and the promise of pleasure on a metaphysical level, raspberries inspire patience, waiting good-naturedly for your actions to bear fruit. And that's true, man, because you got to wait for these beauties to come on. and There ain't no fun eating them early before they're ready. So patience. Now, raspberry leaf tea is a well-known tonic to take before and after pregnancy and can increase relaxation and I'm looking up just to see yep I see about a, a half gallon mason jar almost halfway full with the leaves which means I didn't crush them which means there's hardly any in there <laughs> but, but I do have a few to drink this week just to honor our herb of the week and it if it increases relaxation cool um, if it tones my body and keeps it strong and gives it minerals cool Eating ripe raspberries is said to increase fertility. So if you're trying to become more fertile, literally like you you want a baby, you want to bring a baby into this crazy world, do it. Um, do what you want to do. Eat some ripe red raspberries or black raspberries or white raspberries if you ever come across those. Um, they're said to increase fertility and they're yummy. Yeah, and you know what else? Like even this week, I'm going to make it a point to take my vitamin. Remember my mom gave me an extra bottle of her senior vitamins? <laughs> I'm like, thanks, mom. Um, and I was like, these are for 50 and over. And she's like, um, you're 42. Close enough. <laughs> Anyways, I was thinking about just taking them this week because like, I just feel like we need to boost up be strong you are strong now stay strong so either side of the priestess of fertility on either side of this card there's a bright orange flower and that represents the sacral chakra the energy center responsible for a healthy reproductive system and bountiful creativity so we have all these oranges in her dress and the flowers and she's even orange skinned and and she's got like big oranges as boobs like they're literally perfectly round like it looks like and they're just they heart it looks like they put two oranges on her body um so anyways and i like the there's like a blue leaf pattern on her torso and arms there's stripes on her arms she's very interesting the priestess is surrounded by a wheel of herbs, raspberry, primrose, geranium, hawthorn, mastuka, mas, matsutake mushroom, I'm not familiar, and jasmine, all known for their magical properties in support fertility. So if you are trying to become more fertile, whether in your womb or in your life in your mind and your creations let's use these herbs to energetically boost our fertility matsutake mushroom jasmine hawthorn geranium primrose raspberry the priestess wears a fertile waxing crescent moon as a headdress above that in a golden sphere sits the goddess symbol that represents the ancient divine mother responsible for the creation of the universe so it doesn't have to mean a pre like pregnancy when you t think of this card or get this card it can if you want 
but you know think about the empress in the tarot like being pregnant with ideas being so fertile that everything just blooms in your life fertility can mean launching new projects or fertile imaginings that can lead to new beginnings and a brand new way of life so there is a raspberry wish cake um, recipe <laughs> there we go now we're now we're talking now we're getting witchy the right way we want to put our spells into our cakes okay <laughs> a sweet little baking spell to bring fertility or new beginnings so it could be as easy as baking up a raspberry cake cooking food with magical intent often brings our desires to us sooner and I'm just going to take that one step further and be like, everything you put in your body, like, I'm going to drink this tea. I want it to nourish me. I'm going to eat this fruit. I want it to enliven me and remind me of the juice of life. Like, you can make all your food and drink full of intentions. I'm making this meal for my family with intentions of love wellness respect and abundance i love them so much right you're just loving them you're loving them you're loving them and you're putting that good loving energy into your food so you just basically bake up a vanilla cake and imagine each raspberry you place into the cake batter as a wish for fertility inspiration or clever solutions to tricky problems and overall a more fruitful life so as you're putting in your raspberries you're putting in your wishes you're you're casting your spells you're holding your intentions you're focusing that energy and so it will be imagine the beautiful bright spark of new beginnings rising as the cake rises and as you partake in the warm cake affirm your intention to the universe that you wish to nurture a new project or a new life and really feel it just you know you are you are what you eat so eat your intentions and become them Ooh, all right, well, speaking of making babies, though, these birds are making babies. They've got these beautiful aquamarine blue greenish eggs. They're just little eggs. I mean, it's not fun to find a broken robin's egg in the yard, but it is always amazing to get an up look close at the shell because the color is fantastic robin egg blue robin shell blue holy moly all right so let's see if i can find raspberry here in the illustrated herbary i see it create space Ooh, these birds are magnificent here as a full page spread so many berries i love how yeah they made their nest like you can make a basket out of the raspberry canes they've made their nest and they kept the thorns on, so they figured out how to work with and around the thorns. So the Rubus species creates space with raspberry. Maya Toll, she's got um, a ritual and a reflection for raspberry. The ritual is make space without, and the reflection is hold space within. Ooh, make space without, hold space within. Um, raspberry is Rose's younger sister, sweet and wild, but also steady handed. She loves the earth and its smallest creatures. So her ebullient branches twist and crawl, creating nests for birds and sanctuaries for snails. <laughs> um, if you hung out with me at Herbal Marie last night, we did the herbal tarot knight of pentacles and he had a a snail inspired helmet and that was funny to me so yeah um, I'm just laughing because there's more snail energy slow and steady and dependable hardworking, 
stick with it, keep going. That's what energy we hung out with last night, which is like the perfect energy to start the week and all our new projects and our new life. Apparently Raspberry is gonna help us start some new things in our life as we intend to manifest more fruitfulness. Anyways, Raspberry, Rose's younger sister, she'll rock we babes and scurry about with toddlers, rarely giving in to the gravatas that permeates most members of her family. Laughter floats through her leaves as she flexes and twists. You too can be like this, she says, demonstrating pliability earned by drinking deeply of mineral rich soil. Sit with her and she'll share with you the secret of weaving space and creating strong containers for the emptiness that new life needs in order to thrive. When raspberry appears, look to how you are or aren't nurturing space within. Personally, I would love to be more flexible. I am one stiff old haggy bitch, absolutely. <laughs> I've always been. Like literally, I don't ever remember like being flexible. Like I even have a random memory of being in ballet class and I only ever took like one, not even a whole year of it. And um, like a stretching on our bellies and you're supposed to do like a frog pose, but like on your belly. And I just remember being like, I am not enjoying this. <laughs> like I could, I can remember not being flexible. But does that mean that I could never, like I'm not, or I just can't be, or do I just need more raspberry leaf tea? Do I need to drink deeply of mineral rich soil? See, I take care of myself okay, but really, like, and everybody probably thinks that like I take care of myself like the best of the best. Nope, I could do, I could do better, absolutely. Um, and it might be fun for me to really start taking care of myself in my 40s. One, for the future, it's a good idea, but also like just fun to see if it makes a difference. You know? You know? Like I would I would objectively notice a difference because um, I get a lot done just feeling okay. Like what could I get done if I felt great? If I felt really nourished? If I felt really fertile? If I felt really flexible? Ooh. I feel like raspberry is really inspiring us to nourish our bodies and take care of our bodies even more so than we normally do. Like let's up it this week. Let's really do it well this week. Let's, let's feel better and be well even more than we normally do. I like it. I'm into it. And I also love, you know, that whole sacred, sacral chakra vibe with our last card. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging the abundance. I'm digging, I'm digging the indifference because I'm seeing it in a good way. Um, and yeah, creating space. I'm digging that as well. So it goes on to say that nurturing space within yourself often begins with a physical space and a structured experience of it. That structured space allows us to enjoy a regular ritual of reflection and holding space for new energy and ideas. So a, a, a place where you can be physically, a structured space, doesn't need to be large or expensive to create. It simply needs to be yours. And she says, what might this look like? <clears throat> All right, here's four ideas. A special chair with a side table for tea and reflection. I kind of have that going on with my desk <laughs> every day. I guess this is my structured space, you guys. Uh, here's another idea. A corner in the garage or basement turned into an art studio. <sighs> cool. Not my basement, not my garage, but maybe yours. Maybe yours. Um, that might be cool to do. How about a bit of garden to plant as you wish? 
So I'm also doing that as well. I took my old dog fence that used to contain my chickens. If you didn't hear, all my chickens got killed because I was negligent and didn't lock them up one freaking night. Uh, then something killed them. Anyways, sorry about that. And I mo we moved it up to a different location and now I have rocks and containers in there for a container garden with all the rocks, like almost all of them that I've ever lugged into the yard. <laughs> and it's there's no reason for it other than I wanted to do it. And I'm gonna plant whatever I want in there. I'm not gonna try to save the world in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to feed my family in there. Uh, but I am going to plant whatever it is that I want to nibble on in there as I go in there and, and be with my rocks. And, and really, I'm, I'm also using it to like honor the four directions. Well, six actually for me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, because I, I want to also go, have a vertical experience in there as well. But anyways, um, yeah, a little bit of garden to plant as you wish. You need, you need it. Okay, here's the last idea. A clear spot on the top of the fridge where your altar is out of reach of tiny hands. You know, and I have altars all over the damn place. And um, that's because that's how I live. But you know what? You, you'll benefit so much um, by giving yourself these spaces, somewhere where you can sit and reflect and drink tea, somewhere you can make art and be creative, a uh, more gardening space, and maybe just do something like this part of the garden. I'm only having, I'm only having black flowering items in here, or I'm only having variegated foliage. Like, I don't know, you can do whatever you want. Um, have a, have spaces where you do as you wish, you be as you wish, you plant as you wish, you meditate as you wish, you honor as you wish. Now, Anne Lamott in the book Bird by Bird said, you get your intuition back when you make a space for it, when you stop the chattering of the rational mind. So, it, you know, we'll just take this back to yesterday when we hung out with Archangel Haniel, the, the goddess Archangel of the moon and intuition and passion, right? She taught us so many things yesterday and, and balance. There was definitely a message of balance, but if you're out of balance, like your intuition, you haven't had a space for it. Now is the time to invite it back, to give it a place to live. You know, it could be intuition that you need to create a space for. It could be power. It could be love. It could be peace. Whatever it is that you want to reside in you, give it a space for it. And that's within you and without you, like around you. Like you can give outside spaces, but the true spaces need to be held within. And that's the reflection called hold space within. Maya says, we don't often make space for ourselves in our daily lives or create a structure that lets us grow and fully express our dreams. Before creating in the world, Raspberry teaches, we must learn to hold space within. So in, in your mind, in your heart, um, is there room for you in your mind and heart? Is there room for you in there? Or are your thoughts filled with the needs and schedules of others? See, you've got to make room for yourself. Do you have guilt or other toxic thoughts popping up when you contemplate claiming space? Mentally, physically, emotionally for yourself. Are, are you, is there some backlash whenever you consider doing this? That's something to be aware of. If you're like, yeah, I'd like to create some time, space, 
attention for myself, but then I'll feel bad. Or then Joey won't have me to take him to this or that. Like, see what pops up. See what interference comes up. That's your ego being a bastard. Um, you shouldn't have guilt inside of you at all, ever. So if it comes up, be aware of it. Um, maybe it says, are you fearful of taking up too much space intellectually or physically? That's an interesting concept too, because like sometimes, sometimes in the history of women, we've sometimes, you guys, sometimes we've been encouraged to act small, be quiet, sit there, be a good little girl. Um, and really what the world needs is for us to be big. And I'm coming at you from 115 pounds saying we need to be big. I'd actually like to be 120 or 25. I think I look good like that. But, but hey, sometimes the weight just doesn't want to stay. Um, but it's like, we're not just talking about physically here. Emotionally, intellectually, energetically. How big can you get your energy to be in your life? Take up space. Be big. Own it. Own your space. Especially the space within you. Yeah, I feel like that's what Raspberry is also saying. So in this book to end, it says, picture your creative womb as a place of starlight or forest loam of ocean waves or sunlit meadows. Use whatever metaphor speaks to you. Step into this internal landscape. Notice its natural edges, the place where trees end or the ocean recedes. Trace these boundaries, affirming that you hold the space within, sacred and safe. This Affirmation Minute is brought to you by our fantastically fertile herb of the week, raspberry and I dedicate them all to you I delight in the sweetness of life I am strong I am building a beautiful legacy with my community I enjoy companionship and collaboration I nourish my body I intend to manifest more fruitfulness I hold sacred space. I delight in the sweetness of life. I am strong. I am building a beautiful legacy with my community. I enjoy companionship and collaboration. I nourish my body. I intend to manifest more fruitfulness. I hold sacred space, and so it is. All right, there you go. I love the affirmations. I love raspberry. What are raspberries blowing raspberries? Is that when you blow on somebody's stomach and like make that sound? We should do that. We should do that this week, too. <laughs> All right. Have fun, everybody. Delight in sweetness of life. If it ain't sweet, then make it sweeter. Um, hold your intentions. Hold your sacred space. Hold your strength. Hold your, yeah, hold whatever it is you want to hold. Hold your intentions to manifest. So anyways, I'm looking forward to the week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Adding our energy together is a collaboration. It is definitely a companionship of ideas. And when we put our minds together, we really do co-create. And I appreciate that so very, very much. So much love to you.